Alright, we are finally back. Oh, thank goodness. It's been way too long. Well, at least for me, it's been way too long. For you guys, it's like been, what, two, three days? But I've not recorded this in a while because I have been busy as heck. And now I'm not. Thank goodness. Because November is thankfully over. Because November was a lot of work. And December's not going to be as bad. Except for... Let's see. Just pretty much... Shopping for Christmas presents, that's about it. So yeah, it's nice to be back, at least for me. Because it's completely the same for you guys, but it's not for me. Like... All of you can die. Ah, it should, and as well as I, apparently. Al. Eh. Whee! Oh no, I didn't want to go back in there. to get that stuff. Especially this. Torchic. And Mudkip. Ha! Both Gen 3 starters. I expect Trico in the next box. That one has a weapon, so it doesn't count. What's over here? Ah! Uh, potential death. Well, actually, you can't die in these little areas right here because there's no place you can be knocked out of the boundary, so... Aw, oh, come on, there's another one of y'all. What the heck, man? Get out of here. So even if you know where the door is, it's probably worth trying to get them all, just for the simple fact that there is... Camera, please pan. Thank you. There is two other ways that have a gold box. So if you're going through the percent, not just clearing it, then you are going to need to check at least where you, if you know where they are then that's great I don't have them memorized so you know I'll be hunting for them all day, but... um, I think that is actually the door we need to go to so there's more area where there should be a box oh by the way if I sound a little different I'm kind of fighting off a cold right now so even though I know I have one like three weeks ago you always get two at least at least two if not more usually more so ow Oh, by the way, for the Jig, since you can't kill it, you also cannot turn it into a trophy, just so you know. The Jig has actually gotten by uh, the challenge board. Can we just go in like that? No, we can't. Oh, well. I think this is where the mini boss is, as well as the gold box, so. Ah, shoot. Didn't do it well enough. There we go. So technically there's no gold box there, but I do believe that that counts for part of the percentage, so you will have to defeat it. If you're going for 100% anyway. If you're not, then it's not a big deal. I think I already went over here. Yep. Ow. I think that's it, really. Yeah, I knew these guys were here, but... As long as they don't get the chance to, you know, land long enough to transform, you can get a free 100% decrease right there, so... In effect, a free heal. Not a complete free heal, but a free heal nonetheless. I thought you couldn't get knocked out of the boundary, but apparently you can. But I'm trapped in here. No, I'm not trapped in here. Okay. Ow. Sticker, sticker. There's a door in here, so 
Can you get another gold box from here? Or is this just... Okay, so three gold boxes in this area, so... If we're going for wall, be sure to pick them up. Now, with uh, Samus, you'll have to wall jump up just by going left, right, left, right. And then using up B. With Pikachu, you can do the same thing. And then use up. Or, I believe, you can also... If I can do this correctly. You can also do the up B and have it hold up and left, right, and then up and left, and you'll make it that way, too. So either one works. I think there's a later door you have to jump up to that you can only get with one or two people. Okay, that's not it. I know that's not it. It should be one more. Yes, it is. All right, very good. That's actually most of this level because you can already see the light coming from above. So there's like one more set of enemy encounters and it's right here. And after that, I think you're about done. I was expecting to get shot the other way. Ow. Alright, good. I did not want that. That. That's gonna be a pretty hefty amount of stickers since I didn't you have to use a continue right there. But for now let's break through this door. Even though it wasn't there earlier. Just sitting there, you know. It just looks so weird, all the robs just sitting there like... Not even flinching. Alright, more of the bomb factor, and I believe this is like one of the last ones too. Alright, so we got the Falcon Almar team, basically. I'm worse with Almar, so I'm gonna set him in the center, because I don't want to have things left up to him. Because if that happens, I'll probably die. Okay, this isn't the level I thought it was. Ow. There's one part, there's one level later on that's like just a set of enemy encounters, but it's a gigantic one. And that one's actually pretty difficult, or at least it is for me on intense mode. And I already died. I forgot you can't grab onto the boxes. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this. Almar, it's all up to you! Yeah, tether recovery is going to be kind of useless in subspace. Which would be, you know, Zero Suit Samus and all of our. Maybe somebody else, but I can't think of who off the top of my head. Oh, great. Metal Primates. This is not gonna end well. Case in point. Oh, well, I can always do this. Oh, I didn't work. Oh no. I didn't even get the time to actually do a dodge. That stinks. Hey! Get out of here! Yeah, don't pick that up. A lot harder time jumping around. Alright, I got to a door, so at least I'm safe here. This actually holds another one of the, of the gold boxes that a lot of people have trouble with. And it actually kind of makes sense why. Because what you need to do is jump on the spring and jump up and then you'll land on basically nothing. If you attack it, you hear the noise, and the gold box is actually hidden off screen, so... That is probably one of the more difficult ones to find. I guess the spring there is supposed to give it away, but still, the fact that it's off screen, unlike most of them, is what kind of makes it difficult. Or more well hidden, I suppose. It's not difficult to reach or anything like that. Because anybody can make that jump. It doesn't have to be just Diddy Kong, all of our Falcon, and Donkey Kong can make it, as well as anybody else you bring into the level. Alright, so now basically what you're doing here is there's a door down there. However, you have to have three switches active to unlock it. And I'm dead. And that was one of the switches up there. Those only show up, I believe, twice. And one of the two times is actually... Actually, they're both technically in the same spot, but... We'll get to that when we get to that. That's steering the Great Maze, for those of you that know what I'm talking about. Anyway, back to more Falcon. 
been teaching a friend of mine how to play melee because he kind of knows how to play it, but not really. Like, he didn't know how to sidestep or air dodge or smash attack even, so I was teaching him how to play. And he kept picking Donkey Kong, and finally he gave up and started playing as Falcon, and he did a lot better. Because, honestly, it, since I always play as Marth, it's easier for me to beat up heavyweights than it is, you know, faster characters. Oh, jeez. Stupid sensor bombs. Or smart bombs, I guess. That wasn't a sensor bomb. But you know what I mean. Oh, dude. That ain't cool. I don't know if he can make it up there. Well, not if you do that. I don't think he can make it up there, so I'm gonna kill myself. And if Donkey Kong can't make it up there, I'll kill myself again. Nope, he can't make it. Alright. Get out of here. I know Falcon can make it, I know Diddy can make it, but I do not know that the other two can not. That's kind of weird that only Falcon and Diddy go like that. And then you just have to do the same thing again, in effect. For a regular box over here, and a gold one, I believe, up here. There it is. Oh well. I just wasted two stocks, so I'm probably going to have to redo this little part again, but oh well. Maybe not if I get lucky with the green switch, because that's the only one that's left. No, wait, I take that back. They do it three times. Another one's in the green maze. They might even do it four, since that's always repeat. Aw, oh, crud. I bounced off the buck hot, which is why I took damage there for a minute, because whenever you bounce off, like, a wall or something, Diddy will take a little bit of damage, and he'll fall back down. Continue. That's why that happened. I don't suppose it would save all the uh, switches for me, would it? I know it'll save the box info, so I don't have to do that again. Oh, no, it did it? It might not have saved the green one, I don't know. We're about to find out. Nope, didn't save the green one. Alright. Well, at least I don't have to go for all three. Especially that red one, because the red one's kind of the most annoying one to get. And I guess if you're bad at fighting flus, then the blue one might be the worst. But the green one's honestly not that bad, so... We're about done with the stage here, are we? Whoa! Ow. Alright, so we need to get up there. We don't need to, but there's a box up there. Well, I was going to suggest taking the ladder, but that works too. Turn this off. Great, thanks. Then again, they don't ever give you heart containers, so can't expect much. And I just took that damage back, and the camera still does not pan. It's kind of a problem I have with this game, because the camera does not pan at all. And in two player, the camera only works well in subspace, it doesn't pan. And then in subspace, if you're doing two players, it only pans to player one, or tries to, rather. standing on something. Nice. Oh, well, this part isn't timed anyway. You can't die in here, so... Well, you can, but... If you're standing in the center, you cannot get crushed. Yeah, I'm not gonna try for that. thing to come back down. There we go. Man, that's ridiculous. Now we need to get the key, which is right here, and then we're done with the level as soon as we get past and up this one-to-block jump. 
Jeez, oh lord. Why are the Pikmin games so good, yet he is so bad in Brawl for me? Hey guys, what's up? Falcon. That was a beautiful pose, man. Oh, hello, Mr. Man. Ganon's like, oh look, it's my clone, Captain Falcon. Falcon's like, but well, you're the clone, dude. You had to unlock you in Melee. You have to unlock them both in Brawl, but you get my point. I mean, unlockable characters and not, it, it's kind of weird, because if you think about it, like, let's take a look at Ness. You have to unlock him in Brawl, you have to unlock him in 64, but you don't have to unlock him in Melee. That's just weird. Like, first you had to unlock him, and then you didn't, and now you do again. It's really odd. Eh. That uniform was kind of dorky anyway. Yay! Pixelated laugh! I am so looking forward to killing you. <laughs> Falcon just picks him up and throws him. And you know, Samus is like... That's in effect. You can't hear anything under that visor, man. Right, this is the fight that I'm not looking forward to. Kill them all! Ching! Rob. So apparently this Rob is stronger than all the rest because he wasn't influenced. But we're still not going to use him because my best team is in effect the four characters that I would have preferred to use all along. I'm just not that great with Samus, never have been, not that great with Rob, and I'm certainly not that good with Olimar. I'm not great with Donkey Kong either, but, you know, I'll do what I can. This is another example where I would approve of Thunder Spam just to get rid of those stupid flying birds. Because they are a pain. They're Mr. Pain. What? How do I get stuck in the ground after whatever? Hey! I see you over there, Mr. Man. Ow. How did I not get you with that? Whatever. Alright, who's next? Stop aiming the wrong way. There we go. Hey! Up! No! Let's hope one of them would attack the bomber and at least get the chance to throw it, but no. I do not trust soccer balls. I do not trust them. I don't trust you guys either. Where'd that other one go? Alright, whatever. Oh, it was that one that had the HP bar. I was like, okay, I got rid of one of them. Where'd the second, you know, I was trying to find the second one, but that was really weird. Hey! You were not there a second ago. Alright, this part's gonna be the most difficult part. Well, hold on a minute. Now we're getting to the most difficult part, because... You're gonna be fighting two of these at once. And that's gonna happen. And whenever that happens... Guess what? You get to redo the whole thing! Isn't that fun? Continue? Yeah. No. This fight might take a while. 
So depending on how many times I lose, I will cut right here most likely, because I think the most attempts that ever took was the first time I played it on intense, obviously, and that was like eight. Actually, I actually don't think it was that high, it was more like six, but still. My point still stands. It's difficult. But I do believe Pikachu is your best bet, especially for this first part, just for the Thunder Spam. I mean, I just took out a pretty decent sized chunk right there, there, so... And, of course, that happens. Can I get up? Thank you. Oh, thank you for going off the most inopportune time. Yeah, of course, she didn't give me time to get that other one. That is not what I was trying to do. Alright, that works. Ow. Can I please move? That did not hit me. Seriously, how am I supposed to do anything now? There. Alright, I should be able to get this. Well, I should have been able to get it right there. Ha! Good, I didn't have to cut. Sweet. Give me that. Even though it's completely useless, who cares? Yeah, I'm thinking we're not going to be able to fix this. Guys, we do not have enough time. I love how the timers are back to three minutes now, or like 2.57 basically. Yeah, see, even he realizes there is not enough time for this. And now it's at a minute 59. And Captain Falcon is Batman. Now it's 139. Well, I guess that's more... That makes more sense, but... Eh, either or. I'll go ahead and use Rob, since I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for not. I'm going to try to use all the characters, but... You will be seeing whenever I do, like, classic mode with everybody and all that good junk. Because I will be using them all there. I'll be using them all in Target Test. You know, use them all in Classic Adventure All-Star. So you will be seeing, like, all the characters. Probably, I would say play, but definitely not to the best of their ability, because there's some characters I'm just terrible with. Well, I kicked the thing in there, because I saw the box explode, just barely. Apparently I wasn't allowed to go through it for some reason. Yay, screen scrolling too fast. That you will never get killed by this. Even if you do this, you still won't. I mean, the only way you could die by that is purposely jumping into it. Those platforms are easy to avoid. Basically, whenever you land on them, they'll make you go up, and if you just stick to the side, it'll never happen, so... Same thing with the bombs right here. The problem is, if you mess it up, you just instantly die. Time for more running. Now, there is a gold box right here, so you want to make sure you can get it. Well, not right here, but in this section. Now, you couldn't see it, but it was right in that corner. You probably heard me pick it up, maybe. 
right here a second for the thing to come down. Hey, stupid mites watching you. Now, I don't know, once again, they give you healing right before a boss battle where you have a character select screen, so I don't know why they did do that constantly. It's like they forget. Come on! Falcon Flyer. Fantastic. Alright, let's get out of here. Because after we're done with this, there will be no more Bomb Factory, I'm pretty sure. Because it's kind of going to kind of be blown up. It'll be in the Great Maze, but other than that, it's done. And the Bomb Factory is probably my least favorite part, even more so than the Great Maze. Falcon, Samus... Uh... Rob... Actually, let's use Rob first, because I still need to show him off there. And... We'll let Olimar and the monkeys drive the ship, because that seems like a safe strategy. So yeah, I find Rob's moveset a little too clunky for me, personally, but I don't know. Like, whenever you use this move, he'll go off to the side a little bit. I just find his moveset to be a bit clunky. And yes, that is a time limit at the top. You have two minutes to beat him, but that should be more than enough time, because, as you can see, I've drained more than two-thirds of his health, and he's at, what, half? Or, the timer's at one-fourth. And, yeah, he's probably more like at a third about now. I do that at least once. I'm gonna try to end it with a Falcon Punch, but we'll see. The knee! Come on! Yeah. Alright, the knee it is. The knee is good. I've got a gun! Of course, my body is a gun because I'm Captain Falcon, so what's the matter? Alright, good. I mean, Rob got his entire family destroyed. Not good, but we're out of there, so we don't have to play through that again. Just bits and pieces, but we can... In the Great Maze, in effect, other than the three characters you get after the thing, and the character that you get right before the final boss, you can fight as anybody you want here. Which means I can play as Marth again, thank goodness. Blood Space Pirate. Ooh, the Space Pirates. Critter, Ninian, Girl... And just some good old stuff here. Let's go and save, because we are at 64%, and we're also out of time. So next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. No, wait, that was used by the Runaway guys. I can't use that. Next time on Subspace Emissary, we're going to be going actually into the subspace now that we're at 64%. Thank you, and good night.